morning. There is something special at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. It's called Campground Critters. Dan Maloney, uh, along with um, some of the other folks from the zoo, are here to talk about the fun. And, uh, okay, I don't know if this is good news or bad news because some might have wanted to see it, but the, the baby emus have already, have already gone to the bathroom. And um, it happened during the commercial break. And there it is. And uh, so that means it won't happen live on TV. That's kind of good. And congratulations <laughs> on your on your new delivery thank there. You. Thank, yeah, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very cute. I think it likes to be swaddled. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Who doesn't? Who doesn't I mean... want to be swaddled? So really, <laughs> Vic likes to be swaddled. Everybody yeah, likes to be swaddled. He does. Yes. Yeah, so. so you've got great things coming up at the zoo. Yeah. I, you know, we're really excited. This is going to be a, a. It's always good things going on. But we've got this campground critters and Joel Slavin uh, Animal Productions does. Pets Ahoy down in SeaWorld, if anybody's ever seen that show. Oh, yeah. And they specialize in using rescue animals like dogs and cats. And in this case, we have parrots. But we also have a few other animals like emus and Spike the porcupine. He's a... He's Spike. That's original. <laughs> yeah, well, the, uh, so Melissa has Spike there, and, and he's an African crested porcupine, and he's terrific, and he's part of the production as well. Yeah, Melissa, the, ki the kids love learning about Spike, don't they? Yeah, you know, what, oh, yeah. what, what are the questions that they typically ask you? Um, well, uh, one of the most common misconceptions is that these guys can shoot their quills. So that's definitely oh. one where they're always like, hey, is it true that they can shoot their they quills? They can shoot them now. It's actually a myth. They're just like our human hair. So they can fall out, but they can't actually shoot them out. But they are a great form of defense if they're feeling threatened. So they actually have these specialized quills, the long white ones that stick off in the back. And those are kind of like sensory quills. So whenever they feel something brush up against them, that'll actually cause them to flare up their crest. And then they'll stomp their feet, they'll chat their teeth, and then they'll back up into whatever they're feeling threatened by. Oh, okay, that's interesting. And yeah. we also have, you know, yes. so we also have Keebler, and so, we got to show okay, Keebler. Okay, okay. Yeah. Keebler, Keebler is, is awesome. Keebler does all kinds of tricks. Yeah, I think Keebler can even jump rope better than I can. <laughs> all right. That's a, that is well, you know super dope. It's, hey, 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 it's hey, all hey. part of the arc. You know, it's all part of the arc. <laughs> but Campground Critters is going to start on the 6th of... Uh, on the 6th of May, and it'll be $3 for members, $4 for, for, well, you know what? It's the hazard of the show. It's that Spike, Spike was, is so excited to be on camera that he doesn't want to go back. Yeah, okay. He doesn't right. want to give us oh, the He's like, no, don't steal my moment. Okay, oh, broccoli. That's good. That's good. He's a, hel he's a healthy little guy. Oh, no, he's like, he's fighting this tooth and nail. The, uh, he's having a good old time. All right, well, we're going to, uh, so, and uh, ticket prices, okay, here we go. Three, All right. Three dollars for, three dollars for members, four dollars for non-members. All right, so the most exotic animal we're going to have on all day. Keebler. <laughs> okay, Keebler. Keebler. Let's show him what you can do. Keebs over here. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's his first time seeing the porcupine, actually. <laughs> a little piece of apple out here. It does that for me. We also have the Garden Arts yeah. Festival tomorrow. Oh, yes, and that is Sunday. tomorrow. So and, the, and the Legos are going away. Legos yes, are going away on the 7th. Good. Good, good boy. Look at you go. All right. Good job, buddy. And we stress oh, responsible look, pet ownership. Look, we want to make sure these job, these people adopt. <laughs> Oh, way to go, oh, Keebler. Keebler. Yeah, you're awesome. Good job. Can I adopt a baby emu? You know, it might be a little tough if you go to the Humane Society. They may not have any. Might be all out of emus right I know. now. They, the uh, camp registration also, school, uh, I mean, for kid camp registration is open now. So it fills up very quickly. So people should do that. So there's always lots of stuff going on. At all right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. And if you're interested in taking the kids, of course, you can find all the information on our website, news4jacks.com. And also, um, share this share this segment with uh, with, you know, folks in your community because we know a lot of you are going to want to get out to the zoo, <laughs> to the, zoo the next uh, coming weeks, especially for all these great events. All right. Thank you guys so much. And we'll be right back.